Welcome to Drillbit, the ultimate solution for plagiarism and AI content detection. Clicking Get Started will take you to the login page. Enter your login credentials here. If you've forgotten your password, click the Forgot Password button to reset it. Once you are ready, click Sign In to proceed. Let's start by switching to the admin account. We'll explore the user account later in the video. Navigate to the Profile section to explore the available options. The first option provides an overview of the account name and email address. The Switch Account button allows admin to toggle between admin and user roles. Use the Account Info button to customize your logo and access your subscription details. Click the Help button to explore the user manual and tutorial videos available for both admins and users. Next is the Change Password button allowing you to securely update your account password. The Log Out button enables you to sign out of the account. The Announcement button enables you to create and manage announcements for user. The Admin Dashboard provides you an overview of account statistics including the total number of users, completed submissions, and remaining submissions. Here, you can view the remaining days of your account, and also you can request an account renewal. Here on the User page, the admin can create and manage user accounts. To create a user, click the plus button. You can use the Add User button to create a single user account, and the Add Multiple Users button to create up to 100 accounts at once. Let's begin by adding a single account. Fields marked with the star are mandatory throughout the application. Once you've entered all the required details, including the allocated document, click the Create User button. Once completed, you'll receive a notification confirming that the user has been successfully registered. Now let's see how to create multiple users. Click the plus button and select the Add Multiple Users option. Download the template by clicking this button. After entering the required details, you can upload your template file here. Fill in the mandatory fields to upload the file, then click Submit. Mandatory fields left incomplete will be highlighted in red, preventing you from uploading the file. The Reset Password button will send a link to the user, allowing them to reset their password. Click the Edit button to modify the user's details. The Delete button allows you to remove the user and their activity permanently. The Deactivate toggle allows you to temporarily disable the user account. Let's go to Inactive Users page. Here you can reactivate the account by using the Activate toggle. This is the Admin Report page, where admin can download brief and detailed reports of the user. In the Choose Reports section, the admin can select between submissions and folders. In the Choose User option, the admin can select either a specific user's report or reports from all users. Next, the admin must select the date range for the report, specifying the start and end dates. Once selected, click the View and Download button to proceed. Here, the admin can view the submission details of the user. Also, they can download Original and Plagiarism report. The repository is a secured space for storing the institution's historical and current data to match with the plagiarism data. In the repository page, admin can view and manage data uploaded by admin, as well as the user account. Use the plus button to upload the files in the repository. Choose a category from the available options to upload your file. Once you've uploaded the file and filled in the required details, click the Submit button. Drillbit supports various LMS platforms and LTI integrations. In the settings, you have the option to enable multi-factor authentication to enhance the security of your account. In the support page, you can reach out to the Drillbit support team for any account-related issues. Simply click the plus button to create a support ticket. You can view the response by clicking the action button. Let's switch to user account. To upload a file for plagiarism, the admin must switch to a user account as only users can upload files. In the admin dashboard, Users can view statistics such as total folders, total submissions, and also the five recent submissions. My Folders is a dedicated space for uploading and managing submissions. Click the plus button to create a new folder. Enter a folder name here. Decide the exclude settings as per the guidelines and click on Submit to proceed. A confirmation message will appear, confirming that your project has been created successfully. Edit button allow you to change the folder settings. Click the Next Action button to access the folder. To upload a document for plagiarism, click the plus button. You can upload files in the regional options, which include Indian languages. 
the non-English option allows you to select files in various foreign languages, while the English button lets you upload files in Standard English. Let's proceed with Standard English for now. You can upload the file using the available options. Please read the instructions and upload your file using the Browse Your Files Here button. You can select multiple files by holding Ctrl or Shift button. Enter the required information after you have uploaded your files. Click Submit to proceed. Once you've submitted the file, you can view the similarity, grammar, and AI plagiarism percentages. Click on the percentages to view the analysis for the respective page. Here you can view the similarity score that is plagiarized content. Also, the AI score. And the grammar score. Click the download button. You will get an option to download similarity report and the summary report. Use the delete button to remove the report. Dedicated repository is given to the user account as well. User accounts also include multi-factor authentication and a support option for ticket creation, same as admin account. Thank you for watching. If you need assistance, feel free to reach out to us through the emails and phone number provided below.